Hi, uh, this is a convector heater, it's a two kilowatt, uh, this is a Heiko, but uh, <clears throat> these type of convector heaters are all basically the same. They work with um, on off switches for two power settings, uh, sometimes they have a timer on them and they have a thermostat on them. Um, they usually, have, all of them have some sort of device and it's usually a thermal fuse and when the thermal fuse goes it open circuits it these thermal fuses tend to go because people tend to put washing on the top which is a bad idea because you will you will cause a thermal fuse to go open circuit so what is a thermal fuse a thermal fuse is a fuse and it's operated by heat instead of the amount of um if it's over 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 current excess current flowing through an ordinary fuse um, or an MCB, a micro circuit breaker, um, it will open circuit. This is the thermal fuse here. Now, when you look at these thermal fuses, you can see there's writing on the side of them, and we'll put some lighting on here. That's better. Now, and look at the side of this one. It has writing on it now yours may be different to this um, and this is what the numbers what you can um, google and it will come up with all things now this one here it's got well this is loads of writing on this the the number here is uh, there's tf3 three or zero nine three zero and there's other letters and numbers on it. You'll have to you'll have to Google it. They're very cheap. Now <clears throat> I'll show you where these go. This is the thermostat off this convector heater. This works on uh, the bimetal strip principle, where two differing pieces of metal spring leaf are. Um, put close together you might not be able to see this in here get the white background on it and you control it with the, with the knob obviously and when you turn this it screws in and puts more pressure on it and can close or open the contacts and you can hear these click can you hear that Anyway, um, you can see it operating difficultly. The, the contacts are just here. That's where the contacts are. Right there. You see the contacts there? And these open and close when you put, um, when you turn the knob. And then when you, when you, when you, when you turn the knob and it comes on, yeah? The contacts close. Now, when the temperature gets to these biometal strips here, because they're different um, metals, one of them expands sooner than the other and it causes them to open. And then you can turn the heat up a bit more and they'll close. And as the heat gets to this, as the room temperature gets to this, it operates the bimetal strip and open circuits it. There's two connections on here, simply an in and an out, and those screws there fix it to the body inside there. And that's about it. What happens with these is the contacts become uh, worn and they spark and they insulate themselves and you might as well just buy a new thermostat. So that's the bimetal strip and the thermostat covered. If we look inside this, which has already been partly disassembled because I've taken out the bimetal strip. In here, when we open it up, what we've got in here, this is, this is a scrap machine, so I'm not going to worry about it. This is your heating element along here. When you look at these heating elements, if you see any of them which are closed together, um, they sometimes close up like that together, 
then you, you need to open obviously unplug it of course I mean let's not be stupid you'll kill yourself if you don't unplug it these heating elements they shouldn't be squeezed together like a waste they've, they've got to be opened up otherwise you'll just short circuit that you won't get any heat off it uh, this is where the thermostat goes across these two wires here and you can see that that's where the, the two connections for the thermostat uh, go on there and then that fixes it into there you see two holes in the bodywork there so there's your heating element now the thermal fuse which will open circuit if you put clothes on the top of this to dry there's your thermal fuse there one fitted in place there okay there it is now that's the thermal fuse now this is the way off it stands and the heat rises now this thermal fuse as in all these thermal fuses is fixed in place with rivets now it's not soldered in place it's riveted um, because the heat off the element it's to I suppose it's riveted in place just for production speed but you've still got the two holes here where you can thread it through wrap it tight and then solder next to it this is a thermal cutout and this will also cut out um, it's another safety device that is we can't see it very well just the camera so let's let's just take this out so we can see it a lot clearer but uh, putting clothes on top of these is a definite no-no it's it's very um, it's very silly because not only I mean you could cause a fire especially if yours hasn't got a thermal cut head um, you just disconnect these wires on here now they'll come off quickly because right never mind that so there's the thermal cut out here thermal cut out and thermal fuse There's no manual control on that thermal cutout that will reset itself uh, when, the, when, it, when it cools down. I suppose if that's, it's probably because if it goes into a normal overheat or something like that, or a mild overheat. So there we have it. And these are your on and off switches to control either or both elements. And your timer at the side here where you can set it for on manual or time or just off. And that's where the knob goes on to the thermostat, which is at the back there, of course. So there we are. So that's your thermal fuse and your thermostat. Um, these things are only cheap to buy. Uh, someone sarcastically said, well, you can buy a new one for 30 quid. Well, good for you. Go and buy a new one for 30 quid, you moron. Do you know how much these are, the thermal fuse? 15p. And that's why you take the trouble to repair it. Never mind, I'll buy a new one for 30 quid. Moron. 15p. Right. Save the world, wasting all these materials. Yes. Anyway, so there we are. Um, there's your, there's your, it's, it's a very basic thing. You know, electric comes in through the on off switch, goes through the timer, you've got to check. On your thermostat it goes through the element it's protected by a thermal cutout it's protected by this cutout self self resetting cutout and of course the whole thing is protected by your 13 amp fuse in the plug so there we are and that's uh, a little explanation because i've had a couple of questions about thermostats and thermal cutouts uh, thermal fuses hope that's answered your questions bye for now